Uh, hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to use a function block in Codices which is which is called pulse timer or TP. Assume that we have a start switch and we have a motor to you know, which we want to control and turn it on or off. So here at the beginning we have a switch for controlling the value of the start contact and a pilot lamp to show the state of the motor. With the simplest program that we have here, whenever the st the value for the start uh, contact is true, the motor will be turned on. Whenever the value is false, the motor will be turned off. But assume that we want to have the motor uh, working for 10 seconds, for example. Whenever we press the start, we change the state of the start switch from false to true. We want to have the motor working for 10 seconds and then motor should stop. So to do so, we can use a function block which is called pulse timer. So you, you don't see it here at the beginning uh, between the ladder elements or function either in the function block. So it's not here. It's called TP. To access to it, you can uh, insert, uh, uh, insert an empty box from the general to here. And to determine the type of the function block here, uh, all right. So we, we can double click here and uh, look for the TP pulse timer. Uh, no, this is not the proper way. It's it's better to go directly in the categories. In the function blocks, standard, timers, it's here. So pulse timer. It has one input as the uh, actuating one. We need to determine the preset time. There's the output as Q and there's an R output as elapsed time. So by selecting that and pressing enter, we will have the pulse timer uh, with the name of TP underline zero. Let's keep the name as that, the type of the uh, declared variable is TP, it's all right. So, and you see here that it's declared as TP, TP underline zero. We need to determine the preset time. Again, let's assume that we have 10 seconds. And the elapsed time can be, elapsed time can be written to the elapsed time variable, which is of type time, and you can see it here. Now, if you go to the visualization, saving the project, logging in and running the the project, you will see that each time that we have the change at the start contact from uh, false to true, the motor will be turned on immediately, but after 10 seconds it will be turned off. And here you see the elapsed time. Whenever it reaches the preset time, which is 10 seconds, the motor turns off. It doesn't matter if you change the state of the start in the middle. The pulse timer doesn't care about the input. It's uh, actually sensitive to the rising edge of the input signal. So as soon as there's a rising edge, the pulse timer will start timing and uh, until it reaches the 10 seconds. And you see that it doesn't matter if you change, if you provide the rising edge in the middle as well. It will, it will not disturb the pulse timer. So this is another kind of timer that you can use in your projects.